I'd like to speak a little bit about what a sail designer does. And a sail designer, of course, designs sails, but there's a lot that goes into that. And uh, for me personally, I began by being a sail maker. Uh, I started in yacht lofts, <coughs> reading design sheets to build mainsails and Genoas using the old systems before we had plotters and e-design, uh, reading a design sheet and uh, lofting the curves usually um, using the simple formula to flex the stick, um, more curves in the bottom of the sail, less in the top. So I, you learn about the mechanics of uh, sail design as you build yacht sails. And then there was a golden moment when I started designing myself. This was back when I lived in California in San Francisco. I was working at Richards and Van Heckeren uh, sales in Alameda. This was in uh, 79 that I began to design my own sails using the same sort of yacht sail format, but making windsurfing sails. So when I think about sail design, I just have to say that there's so many parameters involved and you could compare the luff curve to the rocker line on a board, for example. The luff curve is a very important part of the sail design. Then internally in the sail, you have vertical, you can have vertical shapes, vertical seams. You have, of course, the horizontals. Um, back when I beat, started for Pride in 81, um, I can comment that the guys in Hawaii were making uh, their Hawaiian wave sails with extremely simple formula. They would just put a luff curve on a sheet of sailcloth, align the leech, the thread line on the leech, but give the luff a nice curve and put in a big PVC window, and that's it. The PVC window stretched out at the bottom. The sail was very flat, but workable for wave riding. Once you're on the wave, it's really nice to have something very flat to ride the wave. So. Things have developed. Now we have, of course, wave sails, free ride sails, freestyle sails, race sails for slalom, race sails for foil, and all of these parameters, well, they all share the same approach in that the sails are constellations of parts, but the um, design um, for each discipline has become very, very specific. And so what does a sail designer do? Well, we, we try to improve what we have and it's a matter of identifying weaknesses and improving where we can. Um, it's an opportunity for me to continue learning because um, I never claim to have all the answers and I do learn with each year. Uh, we do refine the product and working with different athletes who are specialized in different disciplines, it's possible to continue the design development and improve loft sales for the future.